This is video TR-07Z, covering our first proof, Thales' Theorem. Z videos cover supplemental material that probably isn't mandatory for a trig class, but might be interesting or enlightening. Thales was a Greek mathematician, and his theorem states that if points A and B are endpoints of the diameter of a circle, then a point C anywhere else on that circle forms a right angle with points A and B. That's a pretty bold assertion, but it's true. So let's prove it. We start by drawing a line segment between point C and the center of the circle, which we'll call point O. So we have three line segments, OA, OB, and OC, all congruent to each other because they're all the radius of the circle. Let's connect the points to form two triangles. Each triangle is an isosceles triangle because each has two equal sides, the sides corresponding to the circle's radius. In an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite the equal sides are congruent, so let's call the congruent yellow angles alpha and the congruent blue angles beta. Now consider the combined triangle ABC. We know all three of its angles, alpha, beta, and alpha plus beta. We also know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So alpha plus beta plus alpha plus beta equals 180 degrees. Let's collect our terms. 2 alpha plus 2 beta equals 180 degrees. Divide both sides by 2. Alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. And there we have it. This angle at point C is 90 degrees, a right angle. No matter which point we choose for C, our logical steps would be the same, and we draw the same conclusion. The angle at C is a right angle, and that's a proof of Thales' theorem. I've included this Z video in the series, not because Thales' theorem is so important, though it is elegant and useful, but rather to show how we can combine a few scraps of knowledge into significant conclusions.